Hey everybody, this is Reddo and we're back to LA Noir. Now I had to exit out and change some settings, so hopefully nothing looks different. Oddly, I don't know if this was the case before, but I have noticed that the mouse cursor literally won't let me go to this top section. Uh, almost like there is a imaginary or transparent title bar there. And the same is kind of true with this. So I'm thinking, now that I think about it, that this might just be more of Rockstar, not actually at the time being capable of, of making a PC game. Uh, or maybe something else is on. So when you, uh, because I had to exit out of the game, I had to start back where I last saved, which was outside of this house so I walked around and I'm pretty sure out of your way momentarily ladies. I got all the evidence that I had gotten up to that to the last recording however it is possible that I missed some clue that I found before I don't believe that's the case and we had already we're gonna talk on the phone again and Calling a guy that we have for KGPL. no idea who he exists. Now. Well, because we haven't had the conversation with the Cole guy Phelps, yet. 1247. I could just hit A and skip this, even though the save you? file doesn't know that I've already Bobby done Ross, this. Then send some uniforms over. But would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll yeah, we haven't even talked to the suspect yet. Thanks for your help. Hmm. I had originally planned to just re-record me walking around finding all the clues again. I still cannot get my head around this crazy double fireplace. But in all honesty, it's really, really boring to record, do the same thing so. twice in this name? game. Teresa. Alright. We may have even interviewed this guy. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. Let's Can't see. Can't be anyone who knew her. So here we are back to this. Let's look at our notebook and just see. Um, I'm going to say I doubt that. For the record, Towns, did you kill your wife? Oh my god. This is... No, I didn't kill my wife. Fuck you for suggesting it. Hmm. So that was wrong. Let's ask him his alibi then. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. Oh, I guess he did tell us time. about this when we first she, entered she the building. And to leave. Hmm. So she was bored and she left you at the party? You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Far down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin and calls me. I go and bring her home. What's funny here is, in this fictional version of the 1940s, like, almost every person you deal with is severely negatively affected by either being drafted in the war, or just signing up themselves to the army and going through army service, or the being married and their, their spouse heavily drinking alcohol. Uh, it's kind of lacking some nuance uh, there's nobody here that we've met that is just crazy for crazy sake or doing a different kind of drug than alcohol or just just having a different motive it's simplistic easily guessable things mr terrelson was teresa happy at home yeah i think she was hmm do I have anything that proves that that's a lie? Like the matchbook? Not really. 
Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. Hmm. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? I don't even get the cussing. I don't think that would happen in the 40s. Maybe a little earlier. See, what was your last contact with the victim? When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. Played out my hand and drove home here. Paid the sitter and went to bed. Hmm. Then, let's... Here's the weird thing is, I could say lie for the muddy boots. I could stay say lie for the wet man's... S the wet men's spray jacket. Hmm. Let's You're try. Lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Simple. The mother. We'll go with the muddy boots. You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Either one of those, okay, I guess, would have been later right. Than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <laughs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charleston. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wet spot. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to broads, be given into them your entire life. Not helpful. Charleston broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place out. Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. His mother was proud of him, catching all those crooks. Interesting side comment from her. So let's see if we can get another crime uh, mission done. Zoom out. Is there one somewhere around here? I imagine at some point we're gonna go up into this part of Hollywood. Like, I imagine that happens. So we've got nothing there. Let's. I hate when you have a back button and a start button and you really need to use both. If they had just put the map in the back button, that would have helped a lot. Let's go to the hobo camp. Um, Can you drive to this one? I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, I guess we ought. Like, I'd like to go both ways and see if they end up pointing me in the same direction. I don't really have the, the hobo pegged as as somebody. Where's my wife? We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. So here we found the real guy. We should follow the only These guys can wait. Hmm. What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? Nothing just bounced into. So. Not really hobos in the sense so far of being migrant workers as much as just being crazy people who are homeless. You can't do this. See, they've got everybody pegged here as either very downtrodden or crazy. Try that again, asshole. I don't get the cussing in 1940s. I think you say it. You say one cuss word, and you're you're gonna get your your face pounded in. Hmm. We got a guy playing the microphone, the harmonica. We've got a guy who can fly. Take notice, his feet are not on the ground. 
but I can bump them. There you go. I've saved you from a life of being. So what next? Sounds hmm. like the Terrelson Prod had her last week of Baron Prod. We should check the place out. So is there really no clue here? Because we're not even getting an investigation like marker. So maybe if I'd gone to the hobo camp earlier, I would have found something. Or maybe they just wanted to animate this and, and see have players see it. Uh, there's a decent amount of that happening where they're intentionally having us walk around areas and check out all the work they spent uh, making these open world elements and what little it really matters unfortunately hmm. like if we do nothing with this and there is nothing here to actually do with any of this. This is a lot of production currency. Like dollars or time or or skill or just employees working on making this element. It's for none of it to really matter. That, that's a waste. That's bad directing, bad producing. I mean, imagine if you had a, you were working at, say, a McDonald's and your boss told you to make a hundred hamburgers and you make the hundred hamburgers and you go, okay, where are the people that are going to eat the hamburgers? And they go, oh no, we weren't really going to sell those hamburgers. We just we just figured we'd do it anyways that's a waste of food that's a waste of money and that's exactly what this feels like a waste is this a game of find the hidden the disfigured okay. person that broad got socks in his ear. Hmm. I gotta move move that guy just so I can make it out. Got conversations happening. Hey, there's such a thing as soap, you know. Why do they say that to me? Be nice if there was a collectible, either one of those twenty silver stars or a film reel. But if there is a f collectible, I'm not seeing it. When's America going to understand? It's about That's that guy from the paper. It's all that good paper. There's nothing oh, here. I could afford that. Can't we talk about this? I. I don't fully understand what they were thinking because this feels like this game at one point was just going to be a Grand Theft Auto set in the 40s and I don't know how that would have worked. I, it pretty much is just a Grand Theft Auto set in the 40s right now but if you were playing as a criminal, as a mobster, if you were running hooch if you were uh, shooting down people in drive-bys things like that uh, I guess maybe see there's a police box right here so we followed up on the hobo lead it's probably not uncommon at all to to get false leads and cases so we're just being realistic in our search but let's go to the bar you drive I need to go over the case notes 
Hmm. I imagine for every case, Cole pulls out a new book and, and fills it up and then that becomes official records of the police department. What's funny is you don't really see the police doing too much of that. If they're these days pulling out a book, they're going to write you a ticket and it's a ticket book. And there's nothing you can usually you can do about that if they do bring out the book. But if you're telling them something, most of the time they're looking you in the eye, seeing Gents, if you're telling the truth, drink. and just Felton kind of memorizing LAPD. what you're saying. I'm Benny Clough. This about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. Hmm. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again. God. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Hmm. Let's just... I guess we have to question him. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around, uh, 10.30, I think. Why would I think for a second he was lying? On foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Therese. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. So we get... Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. So... Nothing else important there, apparently. And then let's ask about the vagrant male suspect. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Hmm. Let's see. Am I bumping my mouse so it switches back? Let me just turn that upside down so that stops happening. I guess I'm gonna go with doubt. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps. It should just be over. like question. Promising to take her dance. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said uh USS Indiana. And the other man? Mm. The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. So let's ask about this. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. I'm gonna say doubt on that. She was murdered, Benny. Brutally murdered. If you like this lady, you should give us something. You telling me I'm not cooperating? Watch it, pal. So I was wrong Thank about that. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. In all honesty, it feels this like... Bates. It feels like... That's him. There should be only... LAPD. Don't make me chase you, shitbird. More cussing. It really feels like there's only one perfect, correct conversation to have. I was seeing if maybe I could. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. We're doing the chase again. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. And I've screwed it up. They specifically wanted me in a different car. Where is he? I think we lost him. And the way the map indicates that he was in this God area. Damn it, get after him, Cole. But you you've don't know where you went. You're gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. And this is not a police car, so. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Hmm. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the bicket. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Try not to hit people as he's hitting everything. 
Let's end this part. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Spit him out, Cole. The road's wet. I'm way, way far from him. I've sure flipped that car. I don't know if that was intentional or hard coded to happen. Show me your hands. Okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. Hmm. We have like only one question. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Seriously? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to <laughs> He's know. Got she it, was really. okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. Let's see. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Let's go with doubt on that one again. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you hmm. in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Hmm. So we have another chase that was just kind of crammed in here. So I think way down there there is a police telephone that I can use, but... I think over here there's a telephone I can use too. Right here in this box. Interesting. It's kind of odd Operator, give me that there's all these phones and they probably all work now. in the entire overworld. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Hmm. Could be our man. Thanks, ma'am. So, instead of having another place to go, it looks like this time it's going to put us to the central station. Let's check our map and see if there's any crimes. Hmm. It feels like, in this case particularly, they haven't given us any side crimes. Which makes me feel like that we are... Maybe close to the end of our homicide career and homicide death career and since this seems to be the last location I think we're gonna end up pinning this on the sailor just r random people like the the weird thing here is each of these cases I could have pinned it on somebody different and it there's enough evidence to to back that which just kind of puts me right back to the thought that we're going to find out none of our cases were right. But we didn't have a choice. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Hmm. So interview room two, I believe, is over here. I don't think we're going to get any more evidence. Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble, that's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. 
So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Interesting, he's not Look, sitting down to there to talk to. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Let's see, do we have any evidence that would even indicate him? Like, none of this is going to really change much of anything. Uh, the time of death is like 2 a.m. So I just doubt. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. But interestingly enough, that that's not a new location that we just unlocked. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. Hmm. Let's go with doubt again. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jesse. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. We're holding you until mm. we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. So now we're going to go investigate the hobo camp again. So we have three people that we can pin this one on. And see, I guess the game is going to start expanding, but it, I don't think it's ever really going to expand much more than three. Like, I don't think it's going to become something along the lines of like a game of Clue where there's uh, you know the way. You can drive. eight potential murderers and eight potential murder weapons. Come to think of it. suspects and we can one on the hook. Still no hard evidence on any of them. Yeah, I guess there's four suspects because we're still suspecting the, uh, the husband too. Roger that. Plenty of time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, we have large perils and picked up. 7K, Roger. So now we have three suspects, and we're going to add this fourth one. Or we're going to just go in shooting, apparently, with a gun. He didn't come in with a gun the first time. Hmm. Like, I think I'd prefer to just be playing Clue, or something based off of Clue. For someone who's interested, they're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. There goes my hat. I'm glad there's no crazy achievement like, like, don't. Let's get that bitch and the rest of his acolyte. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. So, like, no conversation, no interview. Just a fight. Maybe we'll find some evidence here? The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it and see what you find. So, here we've got one of these. Good. Let's see. Missing morphing. Kalpsay goons fighting dope war. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. 
Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. It's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. And I th Good night, sir. think these two are the people that Take a seat, Courtney. Cole worked together in the police uh, in the war with. Or at least they met we each other. Your help. Jack, I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part time job. Do dope peddlers need part time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So is this guy? So a, hand it over, uh, walk away. What's stopping? Private we investigator. Had to deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us. We'll all end up in jail. Hmm. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. Hmm. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained, Jack. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. And see, this story kind of doesn't have anything to do with that other guy, the psychologist. And I imagine if I missed a newspaper somewhere, I'd still get the story in the same order. Well, this kind of... Looks familiar. Safe better to match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. <laughs> This kind of means that we have to assume it was the hobo that did it. Like. Hmm. Like. It just gets ridiculous to believe for a second that this is not a case of what it looks like. Look like much of a dancer. So, is there anything else here? I don't think there really is. And here's the weird part is like, at what point does the investigation music stop playing? Like, right now? Are we still in the investigation section? I don't think so. And we'll look at the map just to see if there's a crime. The, this case is too long, frankly, to have a crime break it up. So, we're gonna go with the hobo, I guess. And decide who the wheel. think you're guilty. Honestly, I would prefer just something clue. The husband has an alibi, but no real Based motive other than neglect. Something more just strategic. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We got the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession. We can charge the bum with murder. I think that's what we should do. Like, we could certainly pick somebody else, but... I feel like you might even get a lower score if you pick the wrong person. We're going this way. We're going which way? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Hmm. 
Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Hmm. Motive with... Let's go backwards and do this the other way. We've been going in order up to this point. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. <laughs> I can't prove that, but I'm gonna doubt that. <laughs> you are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Hmm. Let's see what the motive for murder is. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. I can't prove that, but I... Other than he just said he did. But let's just doubt again. You hate women, Ackerman. More than you could ever imagine. How much did you hate Mrs. Terrelson? I ache to put my seed in them. Afterwards, I have no use for them. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. I didn't Terrelson. get a choice there. So that's how the story goes. I guess. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Hmm. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. So you two are fast becoming we're gonna famous crusaders. Get rid of all the hobos and dislocate them and harass them because of that result. Hmm. Interesting. So I missed four pieces of evidence. And every witness counts, even the cabbie who was among the last to see. Teresa Tolson alive. So, how was I supposed to have met the cabbie? Hmm. So, this makes me feel like if I had found the cabbie, talked to him, I would have potentially gotten maybe four more pieces of clues and then pegged somebody else for the case? Feels like there are definitely, definitely some multiple endings in each of these cases let's just go forward and hope we don't end up with another black dahlia killing although at this rate it almost certainly will be and here we have Cole going back instead of going home to his wife and children or child he's spending more and more time here and now the, the only thing you could maybe hope is that Cole is staking out this place for internal affairs or something. But it doesn't seem like that. It seems like Cole is getting corrupted by Hollywood and, and all this vice. The studio secretary murder. I'm surprised there is another one, frankly. And again, we see a person 
And we almost completely see his face. Of course we were looking. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. Hmm. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. So he's more interested in in not again. losing a conviction than he is on investigating another crime, which I guess. What do you and Deirdre Muller's ring. I mean. The emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Exactly. Did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Hmm. Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? No comment on this old man, so maybe no backstory. Some backstory there. I put him down with my staff. So, I want to make fun of It's it's kind of odd that these stories are coming back and interconnecting. I guess I've already said that, but it, it does drive. feel so off considering how there's a scoring system and all and uh, and clear title cards and a uh, clear beginning and end of each case. I, I, I feel like you could probably have lost the title cards or just gone full episodic. I probably would have gone full episodic. I said cough it up. You're not going to say it again. Say Bukaya. Come here. That's it, old man. I've had enough of your gibberish. Just got another Chinese guy shot. Give it up. LAPD. Why I all right. Hurry. You can still catch him. That I think I figured out finally how to do a warning shot. If I can target him with the gun and just hold the target on him. Maybe I can... Oh. Hmm. Nope, didn't work. I think he has to take a hostage, and then I can target him, and then do a warning shot. But I think only some instances will allow it to work. Because clearly other instances will have him uh, simply shoot, have the bad guy just shoot the person they're looking for. We're at rank 15 and it feels like it's going to take a little bit more each time to get up to rank each rank. So at this rate, rank 20 is is within reach but it's gonna be more work than I would have thought you drive I need to go over the case notes yeah I think this game should be fully episodic and none of the cases should intertwine you got to admit this is looking at all uh, anyone could pawn a ring but if you take it along with all of the other indicators Cole Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper he's our guy Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. <laughs> yeah, there's a long list of cases here. It would have been these even worse, I suppose, though, if these cases weren't back-to-back. -back. 
because then I would not remember half of it uh, of what went on. How can I help you, boys? But it's still very odd that this is the vast majority of the game we've played so far. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring, David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money. Now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? Fifty bucks. Try another number. Twenty. Try ten. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Hmm. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. That's helpful. Why the police didn't know that, I don't know, but whatever. Maybe it is the rings. Maybe every woman up to this point has been killed with a ring. Hmm. Does this mark mean anything? Oh, Mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. 22 karat gold. Hmm. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, hmm. Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build. Dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. That's saying a lot for this game, considering how everybody's face looks so awkward. Can't go in here. Again, a lot of animation budget. Even if everything in this scene that you can see right here is a pre-rendered asset that they just purchased, they still had to pay for a license for every single thing we're looking at. Every instrument on the back wall, every piece of dish and jewelry in the displays. There's a ton of stuff here when you could have had a much smaller setup and nobody would really question it, particularly in video games. Uh, hmm. but the, and it would be even weirder, I suppose, if none of it actually was pre-rendered and instead it was a case of it being you know the way you can drive custom made for this game and for Rockstar because then you would think team Bondi really was just given the job you could have the local troopers check out the Blair County address the address is bogus the purpose having fun with us the guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. Hmm. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letters. The Dahlia letters are genuine. The man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Mullen. And how do we prove that, No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one. Day. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own humanity. You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings. Follow them in the car. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of commands, though. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? And what's funny it. is we're kind of back to where we started, aren't we? And Pardon. she's clothed. Yeah. Thank I look goodness. after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. So, this might be the same guy we dealt with in the first case. Interesting. Interesting for it to come back in, in order, particularly when you just look at the map and see, like, let's zoom in for a second. 
here's a building, here's a building, here's a building, here's a building, here's a building. Let's just assume each of these buildings is either an apartment complex or a house or an office. And in each of these blocks, let's say there's, I don't know, five people. How many blocks are on this map? It's a huge amount of people in Hollywood, even in that time. We shouldn't be running into the same people. If a police officer was in searching Hollywood for cases and he kept running into the same people over and over again, he would become very suspicious of them, I would think. I would hope, at least. How are we doing on statistics before we wrap up? We've done 11 of 21 story cases, 17 of 40 street crimes, 5 landmarks. We're really not making a ton of progress there, but there's only 30 of them. No film reels. Uh, we got one vehicle type, one newspaper. Somehow this puts us at 41.8% of completion of the entire game. Rank 15 of 20. Um... Total clues 137, total time investigating on Allen 16, uh, by notebook and vehicle stuff and brawling stuff and gunfighting stuff and miscellaneous stuff, none of which I really care about. Game time, 12 hours, almost. Really at this point I think I would be ready to finish the game about halfway through. Uh, particularly if they took the good parts that hopefully are in the rest of the game and compressed it down into a 12-hour section and took out the bad parts or the redundant parts that we've seen up to this point. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.